Hi students, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering mechanics problem. Two smooth spheres, each of radius 100 mm and weight 100 Newton. You see this drawing, it is sphere 1, this is sphere 2. The self weight is same for both the cases, given as 100 Newton and radius also same for both the spheres 100 mm. S in the horizontal channel, you see the sphere is S in the horizontal channel, having vertical wall, you see the vertical wall, the distance between it is 360 mm, you see in this drawing, 360 mm given in these two spheres, right? find the reaction at the point of contact A, B, C and D, etc. What reactions we need to find, these reactions are A, or B, or C and or D. You see in this drawing, self weight is not mentioned, but in this question is given as 100 Newton. Always self weight acts towards center of sphere in downward direction. This is 100 Newton. For sphere 2 also, acts towards center of sphere in downward direction. This is also 100 Newton. What is the radius of sphere 1 and sphere 2? Sphere and sphere 2, radius is same, 100 mm. This is also 100 mm. Now we will see how to find the reaction at the point A, B, C and D. First, we will draw a 3D diagram of each sphere. This is sphere 1, this is sphere 2, this is a 3D drawing. Now we will draw first sphere FPD drawing. You see the A reaction. The reaction force acts perpendicular to the wall and towards the body. So perpendicular to the wall. This is RA. Next, you see the self weight. Self weight acts towards center of sphere in downward direction. So center of sphere in downward direction. This is 100. Next, you see here, this is B. B is touches with sphere 1 and sphere 2. So, how we will draw this one? The B force acts this side and this side. So, this is RB, common RB. This is given as alpha. So, here alpha means we will take this straight line. This is also alpha. I will draw and show you. So, this is alpha. So, this side also alpha only. This is alternate interior angle. Here is alpha. So, this side is alpha. So, this side is alpha. You see in this drawing, self weight acts here. This reaction comes this side. Here RB, RB reaction comes this side. After that, nothing is in first sphere. We will go for second sphere, FBD drawing. Self weight acts center of the sphere in downward direction. So we will draw the self weight here, 100 Newton. Next, we will see D. Reaction force acts perpendicular to the wall and towards the body. This is RD. Next, we will see C. C is reaction is acts here. So reaction force acts perpendicular to the wall and towards the body. So, here is R, C. Next, you see which one is remaining? Nothing else. R, B already finished. This is also R, B. This is also R, B. This is the self weight we drawn. R, D and R, C. Next, you see this triangle. I will draw and show you here. This is alpha. We know this distance. This distance is 100 radius. So, this is also 100. Radius is given for 2 sphere is 100 mm. So, what is this distance? We know this whole distance is 360. So, we will find this distance. 360 minus 100 minus 100 is equal to x. 360 minus 200 is equal to x. 
360 minus 200 is 160 is equal to x. So 160 m. So this value is 160. So we will write this is 160. So how we will take this length? This distance is here to here is radius 100. Here to here radius is 100. So 100 plus 100 200. So how we will find alpha in this case? Cos alpha is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. Which one is adjacent? This is adjacent. So alpha side this is opposite. Bigger side is hypotenuse. So adjacent is 160. Hypotenuse is 200. And this cancel 16 by 20 is equal to 0 0.8. So cos alpha is equal to 0 0.8. Alpha is equal to cos inverse of 0.8. Alpha is equal to 37 degrees. Alpha value got 37 degrees. We will write it here equal to 37 degrees. Now we finished FPD drawing. Second step, what we will do? We will use equilibrium condition to solve this problem or we will use Lamy's theorem. Lamy's theorem on condition is there. Three concurrent forces is there. That time we will use Lamy's theorem. You see the first sphere. This is one reaction. This is one reaction. This is one reaction. So one, two, three. Three reaction is there. If three reaction means we will use Lamy's theorem. You see the second sphere. How many reaction is there? One, two, three, and four. So we can't use Lamy's theorem here. We will use this one is Lamy's theorem or equilibrium condition also. I will show you the two methods. Equilibrium condition and Lamy's theorem also. First, we will take the sphere 1. The arrow comes down. Arrow comes down means this side. So, this is 100 Newton. You see the arrow goes this side. This side is, so arrow comes this side. So, all in. You see this arrow goes this side. So, inclined. So, goes this side, inclined. You see the arrow goes up only. So, this is RB. You see the alpha. Alpha comes from this side. This is 37 degree. This one, how we will draw? Draw the line. So, this angle only, we know 37 degree. This one we know 90 degree. So the whole together how much comes 90 plus 37 degree? 127 degree. So this one we know 90 degree. This is RA 100 Newton or B. So how we will take this one? Circle is 360 degree. So 360 minus 90 minus 127 degree. How much comes? 143 degree. So this value is 143 degree. Use Lamy's theorem. What is the Lamy's theorem formula? Rb by sin 90 degree equal to Ra by 127 degree. So Ra by sin 127 degree equal to this is 100, 100 by sine 143 degree. Next, we will take this two. Cross this. R A into sine 143 degree equal to 100 into sine 127 degree. R A is equal to 100 into to sine 127 degree point 0.8 divided by sine 143 degree is point 0.6 or a is equal to 133.33 newton next we will take this and this or b by sine 90 degree is equal to 100 by sine 143 degree so, Rb is equal to 100 into sin 90 degree. This one goes up. Divided by sin 143 degree. 100 into sin 90 is 1. Sin 143 degree is 
Now we got RB value equal to Second method we will use equilibrium condition. Concurrent forces system for sphere 1. Summation of f of x or summation of x. Summation of f of x means f of x is here. Y is this side. So this side is positive we will take. Equal to 0. You see the inclined force. This inclined force we resolve into vertical and horizontal. This is vertical, this is horizontal. I will draw and show you. So here. So angle is this side. So 37 degree. So angle side is already I told cos. Cos 37 degree. Here is given as RB right. So write it RB. Other side is sin. RB sin 37 degree. Next, you see here summation of f of x or summation of x. So, x is this direction. So, we will see only this direction. So, this direction you see RB cos 37. So, this direction is positive. So, plus RB cos 37 degree. Summation of f of x or summation of horizontal. Next is this is horizontal line. But you see the arrow, arrow goes opposite side. So this side only positive. The opposite side is negative. So we will take minus R A is equal to 0. So R A is equal to R B cos 37 degree. Next, summation of F of Y or summation of V equal to 0. So, summation of V means vertical. Vertical arrow, this is positive. You see in this drawing, vertical is in RB sine 37 degree. This is plus. After that, you see the vertical direction, this comes downward. So, downward arrow is minus 100 equal to 0. RB is equal to 100 divided by sin 37 degree. RB is equal to 166.67 Newton. Now this RB we will substitute here. So RA is equal to 166.67 into cos 37 degree is equal to 0.8. So, R A is equal to 133.33 Newton. You see the first method, Lamy's theorem, R A, R B value. And second method, equilibrium condition, R A and R B value is same. But concept is different. Which one is easiest, you can follow. Now, we will see second method. Now, we calculated R A and R B B value but we need to calculate RC and RD also. RC and RD is in sphere 2. Now we will take FBD drawing to solve the reaction of C and D. Now we will write the RA value 133.33 Newton. RB is equal to 166.67 Newton. This is the R A or B answer. Now we will draw sphere 2 FBD. You see the sulfate acts downwards. So here is 100 Newton. You see goes up. Arrow is up. So this is R C. You see arrow goes this side. So this side is R B. Next you see the arrow goes this side. So, this side means comes this side. So, angle comes where? Angle comes this side. So, this is 37 degree. You see in this drawing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 forces is there. So, we can't use Lamy's theorem. We will use only equilibrium condition. You see the inclined force. This force we need to resolve vertically and horizontally. I will draw and show you here. So, vertically and horizontally. So, angle is 37. So, here is also 37. 
already i told angle side is cos cos 37 degree so this is r b so r b here is r b sin 37 degree you see the arrow is comes this side arrow is comes this side now we will solve sphere 2 fbd summation of f of x or summation of horizontal equal to 0 so horizontal means this side this is x here is y this side arrow comes positive you see the horizontal direction this is x axis arrow goes this side this side is positive so plus or d after that you see the horizontal line only so horizontal you see this side so this side is minus so minus or b cos 37 degrees equal to 0 next or d minus or b value we know 166.67 into cos 37 degree is 0 0.8 equal to 0 or d is minus 133.10 multiply 166.67 into 0.8 equal to 0 what is rd value rd is equal to 133.1 newton next we will take summation of f of y or summation of v is equal to 0 v is vertical vertical means goes up so up we will take positive so you see in this drawing which one is goes up or c up arrow is positive right so we will take positive or c you see the down arrow down arrow is 100 so minus 100 after that you see this is also down down arrow is minus or b sin 37 degrees equal to 0 or c minus 100 minus or b value is 166.67 already we calculated write it here 166.67 into sine 37 degrees 0 0.6 is equal to 0 or c minus 100 minus 166.67 into 0 0.6 is 100.30 is equal to 0 or c minus add this to 200.3 is equal to 0 or c is equal to 200.3 newton you see what are the reactions we need to find or a or b or c and or d you see or a or b or c and or d thanks for watching this video